One of my early boxing mentors was a man named Piggy Hutchins. And he had been signed by Chris Dundee. Piggy turned me around and taught me a southpaw style with my right foot forward. He said, when you box 10 rounds against a pro, you can't always win. So you have to learn to survive so you can fight another day. He told me about watching <clears throat> Chief Baby Miller. Miller was a journeyman from Key West, Florida. His final record was 90-23-6. and six. Near the end of his career, he fought eight fights in a row at the City Auditorium in Richmond, Virginia. Piggy told me, you can learn something from these old guys who had a lot of fights. They had learned their craft. Miller knew how to survive, and I studied him closely. You have to learn to smear and ride an opponent and smother his power so he don't hurt you. Okay, let's talk a little bit about speed, specifically about fighting somebody who's faster than you are. You know, if I go 100, he goes 150, then I need to go 200, and I can't. So, now what do I do? I just get shellacked all night long. No, I've got to use tactics to slow his initiation down, which would be... Um, I'm trying to slow his initiation down so I can catch it, so I can understand his rhythm. And then I want to smear his punches, which is an old school thing. So he throws a right hand and I throw a left hook that blocks it. And a right hand that blocks the left hand. Okay, and I smear his punches. Maybe I hit him, maybe I don't. You know, the advice they gave the guy that had to fight Charlie Burley was to throw the punches like that far in front of his face and not even get close to him. Don't give him a real gap. Like, you know, shadow box the space in front of him. But you smear the punches and then you rot them. And you, that's how you smother the faster guy. And you're constantly pulling down on his arms and punching his body in every exchange. And you smear his punches and grab him and pull him down and bang his body. And you just gotta rot it out. You gotta stay in touch with him. You gotta stay touching him and keep him slowed down and controlled. But it, it can be done.